Bọn mình chú mùi ấy bánh bọn? Đủ sữa phò Đủ này Dạ Mình mà dụ mà này bọn? Hello everybody Welcome to my work channel So uh, right now Putak went to the other village And to interview some like, disabilities Get the mental problem lady And let's get into the story Okay, um, that her parents' storage, this is a storage for the haze only, it's not for people to live in there. So, uh, her father let her stay there because she couldn't get along with her mom. Just her mom disconnect her from uh, the relationship, mother and mom, because she got a mental problem. She doesn't understand much. She think that her stepmother, so her mother got so mad and just not put her to be in the family, just separate her from the family like it's somebody else. But her father is just hiding from her mother to let her stay here. But she have to survive by herself. Of course, she got married, but her husband passed away about five years ago. And she got two kids. And one kid went to Thailand somehow. And the other kid, her father took and to raising them because she is a disability. Uh, she couldn't do it. She couldn't raise the kid because don't know uh, when she going to get a mental problem condition. So that what uh, her father said when she was five and she got a high fever and he couldn't afford anything. So one day she, he called the doctor, so doctor here and then they check it out and uh, her temperature so high so she need the uh, emergency treatment or uh, urgent care so she got a shot and then later on temperature running down but uh, from that time she's doing better and heal but until she's about 18 19 but those disease came back to her again so she gets so uh, confusing her mental problem really bad it hardly to recognize anybody and only her father like feel more compassion and forgive to her because she got a mental problem it uh, don't know what it is something like my brother too got mental problem it hardly to sing and recognize who it is, it was wrong or was right, it doesn't know, not sure. And her father gave this story, the hair story, I think the bond in Cambodia, this is the bond. Give to her and get some place to stay. And you know that her bed that made from the bamboo and her net to protect from mosquitoes and a lot of mosquito at warm climate at Cambodia. So then we have to use the net to protect all the mosquito biting and uh, so much bad. And her father show about she is burning on her hand because 
like I mentioned about, she really didn't know anything, like the mental problem with some the urgent care, the medical care, something. But uh, she lived by herself. Nobody cares about it because uh, don't know when she going to going down and uh, keep screaming and yelling. But uh, in America, a lot of uh, people got those conditions, so they need the medical care. They take good care of them, and they took the medication to control that. But for her, it's not. That why she burning on her ankle or left hand. You can see that her father point to her, but she didn't know anything. But after she feeling better for a while, she start to know it burning uh, her hand and and really really hurt. And yeah, um, this story is just uh, very sad. Yeah, I try to share to all you guys and to let the world know about the uh, Cambodian that live in Cambodia, how hard their life was. And a lot of thing, a lot of sad story, you know, is going on. And we don't even see it, we don't even know it. But now I open this page to let everybody can see it. So um, that why I keep, you know, uh, making this video to all you guys can see and start to know about Cambodia. A Cambodia country is next to Thailand, the border Thailand and the Vietnamese and Laotian. You guys know the Vietnamese and that all country there, but it started uh, a lot of war and a lot of gold in, on in the country, make the economy going down really, really bad. That's why a lot of people uh, need the school and need the money, need a job, but they don't even have a job around. But uh, like this one for the real example, like her father tried to hide some rice because Cambodian be eating rice. And then uh, he tried to hide from her mother and to give it to her. Her father is 70 years old. With no information, we want to get more information from her mother. And because we cannot go to her home because she just uh, not accept it to be her daughter's anymore. So she just let go, abandoned daughter. And only her father tried to hide from her somehow to get here and to take care of his daughter and just ask her some question about the story, how she getting sick, you know, how a DDG uh, happened to her. And we get some, uh, it's not really detailed information, just some, because we don't make it a, a long story, just some, and then just give some uh, money to her and then uh, she can, you know, buy some medication. The medication costs 50,000 real every two months. And 4,000 real, if they change to American dollar, it's just one dollar. Like uh, 40,000 real is $10. She needs about uh, $12.50 every two months for her medication but don't know uh, what going to do but uh, we got a teamwork here myself and then uh, to tag and to work over there when we hear something and then we going to go there we got some uh, charity that have the good heart and feel more compassion and they where they from they know and then they just donate the money to helping them so to talk and what going to search for them and where they are and what they need. So this uh, information it heard from uh, Grandma Po. Well in a uh, Cambodian traditional we always call uncle, grandma, something like that, you know, and we call brother and sister. 
So uh, Putak got $25 from Miss Lee and give to her to help her, you know, to solve all kinds of problems and her difficult time. And her father so happy to have those money donated by uh, our team. So we just do the best we can to helping them. I'm already here. Like I told you, every video, I used to be there. I used to be in that time. I know how hard it is, but uh, I live in the United States. We just have enough. It's not having more than enough or get a lot of extra money, but I try to share uh, what I have here and working hard for it to give to them uh, what I can because they really have no job around, even the labor job, digging the dirt by hand. They don't have any job available, just get poor and poor and generation to generation and have no school. All right, guys, that's all about it, uh, about her story. Her name is Sapon and she is 38 years old. She didn't even know how old is she. And her father uh, told uh, to put that she is uh, 38 years old and her name is Sapon. And then uh, if you guys like this video, please share and to let the other people know and or people watch it, they want to donate to helping them that it helped me a lot and helped her a lot. If you guys want to support my channel, Mike's work, and please subscribe and click notification to get uh, the new upload video. And you can miss it every time I post it at 6 o'clock at Central Time. Yeah, every day at 6 o'clock at Central Time. And you can watch it every day, short or long. But I try to cut it short because I know we all here in no time and we are all so busy we didn't have much time to watch it. Um, that's all about it, about uh, her <coughs> story and her father and her mom and her name again is Supon to see 38 years old and she need help. All right, guys, uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day, and then we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much for your support. Bye-bye now.